Dolphin shirt. No, all stripes. No spears. No gutter balls. Last time we went bowling, I got two strikes, and we bowled 30 frames. So that's not very good. I'm shooting for three strikes this time. Hey, we live. Gonna go bowl at 300. Oh, uh, it was fun. I mean, I think pretty much most of the team came out, and we were just out there competing. It felt it was a good environment to compete. We had a whole side to ourselves, and then we just out there competing. Yeah, it was voluntary. All the guys showed up. That shows that shows how the team is going. Anytime you get a chance to do that with players is obviously uh, tremendous. A great idea by Coach Frost. It was really, really, really enjoyable. It was fun. Let's do this. It's sort of boring just to do stuff for us. Everything we do, especially when we're together with other athletes, uh, we're always competing, always trying to see who's the best. Everything's going to be competitive, but we always throw some fun in there because at the end of the day, you know, we're still best friends, we're still brothers on the team. It just lets us know that the coaches are willing to do things to keep us unified and keep us like, as one. So it's not just super serious, focused on football 24-7. They're allowing us to take a break, take a step back away from football and go on and do, do a fun activity with each other. Come to one serious conclusion, most of these guys are playing the correct sport, football, not bowling. You know, Coach Duvall, he has that thing pretty wired for him, so that was uh, a little bit of uh, their ability to exercise their freedom as human beings and have some pizza. And they said, oh, you can get four slices. And I said, well, that's, for one, you're limiting a big guy with pizza. That's dangerous. I saw some guys carrying back a whole tray to their table. Kind of gotten uh, used to just having salad, chicken, and veggies every day. So I think slapping down a couple of pieces with some Coke really got the juices going. He's not supposed to be eating right now. Nah, he trying to hide it. He trying to hide the pizza. You got to put that one on. I got a sip of them. I thought it was water, but it was actually Sprite. And I was like, whoa, I'm going to drink all of this. <laughs> Even though I shouldn't. I felt it next day in practice, but. <laughs> Coach Frost is doing a good job with uh, keeping our minds off of football all the time and getting us uh, more team activities. Bowling was a great team activity, and the barbecue is good because it's great food. All of us uh, like to let loose and relax as far as being able to eat some good food. Getting the guys to be around each other and have fun is not something that Coach Frost has to talk about a lot because it's what he does. With the staff is the same way. I think that he kind of expects it to happen, but doesn't have to tell everybody to make it happen because he is the type of guy that's going to do it and lead with his own actions. I'm gonna get another plate. Anytime you can get defensive linemen back, or offensive linemen for that matter, I, I think those guys in the trenches set the tone for the team, especially with us having a young secondary. When you have a good D-line, that takes so much pressure off a young secondary. We try to all kind of like set the tone for practice and we try to um, go hard. I know when everybody say, oh man, it's gonna be different this year and you're gonna have guys coming coming at you. All I know is, I tell this one all the time, we work for each other. They coming at me, that means they leave you free. They come for you, that leave me free. And that's just how us and the D-line work. And being able to work for each other like that, you know, I will never feel like, okay, man, it's gonna be too much. We did a pretty good job last year of uh, rotating the defensive line and getting some experience, not just to the guys that were kind of filling that, that starter role, but also the second and third team guys. And we're gonna continue to do that. Our guys are playing at a tremendous pace right now, which I'm very proud about, the way they're practicing and training, getting ready to play uh, in the season. Coach Dawson tells us every day, I mean, when the play starts, I mean, look, look guy across you in the eyes and just tell him I'm gonna beat you every play from this, this play now on, just beat him every play. And that's the mentality you have to have. And the culture in the room is really fun. Uh, these guys enjoy being around each other. The other thing that's been great about this group is when it's time to go to work, they go to work. And they understand the difference of when it's time to joke around. Uh, and so we're able, I think, as a unit to be able to have a lot more fun. We have our joke time, but when we're on that field, we get serious and stuff. So we, we, know, it's, we know it's serious. Coach Dawson is great, man. He gives us everything he got, and we got to give, give him everything that we have as well. So that's how, that's how me and Coach Dawson is. It's great for us to have the competition during practice with knowing that, hey, seven, eight, nine guys could possibly be playing the game. It's a calming force to the rest of the defense, also a calming force to me to know that we have nine guys that can roll in if somebody gets hurt. Uh, if there's ever a problem, I know that there's going to be almost, you know, 
no defense that I could call that's not going to work because those guys are going to make that thing go.